familiar, that's because he's a legend and he is here with us today. Michael Soup Granda is a music legend who is celebrating 50 years of the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. He's still making music, performing today, and even writing books, and he's here with us. Thanks so much for being here with us today, Sue Granda. It's my pleasure, my dear. I love it. And I mean, you'll be performing at the Chesterfield Amphitheater here in just a couple of weeks. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, yeah, we're coming up here. Well, St. Louis has always been very, very good to the Ozark Mountain Daredevils, and very, very supportive. Uh, we're into our 50th year, like you said. Congratulations. Actually, in a few months, it'll be 51. But uh, our, for our 50th year, we decided to come through, and so we're going to come and play the uh, Chesterfield Amphitheater and, uh, and play for, uh, for the beautiful, beautiful fans of St. Louis. Well, we love it, and you yeah, are yeah, incredibly yeah, yeah. talented. I went on deep dive this morning listening oh, to the music. Uh, yes, yeah. so good. How did your music career get started? Well, it started here in St. Louis. It started when I saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964, and I said, I can do that. I can do it. Let's make the magic happen. Yeah, so I went and uh, bought a guitar, taught myself how to play, and immediately started forming bands. I went to Springfield, Missouri in 1969, mm -hmm. found the guys who are now uh, comprised of Ozark Mountain Daredevils, and we got together to uh, make music and make merry and make joy. And the, rest and, is and the rest is history. And now it's 50 years later, and wow. we are still making music. We are fortunate men. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm glad that you're here with us today, and you're able to continue oh, yeah, yeah. on and yeah. share the story yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of you all. And I mean, really, what is what influenced you in the style of music that you wanted to go with when it came to you know the Ozark Mountain Daredevils? When the Daredevils got together, we got together as a group of songwriters, as opposed to a group of like-minded heavy metal guys or <laughs> country guys. One of the writers was more influenced by country music. One of the writers was more influenced by bluegrass. One of the writers was more influenced by pop music. Wow. Uh, so we all had these different influences and we got out a big pot of gumbo and we, and we all threw in <laughs> our different, we all threw our different in, uh, influences into the mix and what came out was the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. Just the melting pot of amazing music. Right. And what I like to think that I contributed was a St. Louis sense of uh, fun rock and roll. Nice. And we love to hear it. Well, you can yeah, hear yeah, it yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Coming up at the Chesterfield Amphitheater. And before I let you go, really quickly, you just came out with a new book. It's called Fat and Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the rundown really quickly. <laughs> For the last uh, seven or eight years, I let my beard grow. I let my beer belly grow, and I've become a professional Santa Claus. Hey, hey, I love that. And a good one. You can find out more about my book, Fat and Funny, which is my tales of being Santa Claus, if you go to michaelsoupgranda.com. That's called, it's spelled S-U-P-E. michaelsoupgranda.com. You can find information about Fat and Funny, so you want to be a Santa Claus. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. A legend here with us in the building. And it's the Missouri Music Festival coming up September 17th, again at the Chesterfield Amphitheater. You can go ahead and purchase tickets now, and you can show them some love online, Chesterfield Amp on Facebook. And then, of course, the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. We'll post all of that on our website at studiostl.tv. All righty, guys, don't forget, we're hanging out with the Bread Monk. Father Dominic is here with us today. We'll be back.